because you're going to work in an office doesn't mean you have to be stuck with a black or navy blue suit every day. Please welcome Ingrid Williams, our stylist today on the show, to talk about how you can dress for the office in whatever body shape you might have, but using a little bit of color and, you know, some imagination. Right. There are so many great pieces available out there, especially uh, this is Ann Taylor. So everything we're seeing today is now available online. They just started doing online Ooh, shopping. Good. And they really have an eye for elegant, updated classics and a great workwear department. So this is a great blazer that represents, you know, that floral print that we're seeing a lot of for this season. Uh -huh. And this is a great piece if you carry a little bit of weight in your middle or maybe you have a larger belt because you really need that structure on top right. to sort of bring your proportions together. So we started with this blazer and then I've paired it with these beautiful orange trousers and they really have a great range of shapes when it comes to their trousers. So online you can really figure out based on the details they give you if you need something a little bit curvier, if you want a slimmer cut, right. you can really sort of, you know, they help you find the right pants for you. Okay, that sounds good. Now a lot of women are a little bit afraid of the colored pant, but I think if you can get it in a cut like this, you'll feel a little bit more comfortable, right? Yeah, I think a traditional trouser cut, so just really streamlined, not too tapered at the bottom, I think is a really great way to get into the colored trouser. Right. And you know, this if if you're going with a print on top, you could also work this back to a maybe more neutral color. But the idea is here that you're bringing in that print and the color together, preferably. Right, and that structure is working for her tummy. So if you're listening to that uh, chainsaw <laughs> outside, they're doing a bit of construction outside the window, <laughs> so that's why uh, it's a little loud in here. Now this look I love uh, for a lot of reasons. I love a high-waisted skirt. Mm. What body shape should be wearing a high-waisted skirt, do you think? This is great on anyone who maybe has a shorter torso because it's really going to elongate your body. Mm -hmm. So by bringing that line up a little bit higher, you're getting the long, long leg look. Love and that. especially when you do it with a nude shoe at the bottom because it really just creates that elongation. Right. And I love this crepe blazer. It's, you know, a little bit lighter. It's got one little closure on it. And then I've paired it with a camisole in a stripe just to give that graphic Mix. Right. But what I think is great about this skirt is that it's a classic pencil skirt, great for a lot of body types, but it's been updated with the lace and the color, which is a big trend. Okay. Now, we're talking about this outfit, and all I'm thinking is I'm very distracted by your nails, Ingrid. I'm sorry. They are so beautiful. Oh, thank just you. Just take a look at that nail style. And I'm saying at some point, we got to do just a nail segment on this show because they are really a part of the They're look everywhere. these days, oh, right? Yeah. People are going thank crazy you. for their nails. Okay, let's look at this, uh, this silhouette here. Who would you say in terms of body shape uh, that would be best in this? I think this is a great one if you have a little bit of weight maybe in the hips and thigh area right. because you're getting coming that out. beautiful hourglass shape. And this dress, does it in two ways. Number one, it's got the darting, so it really comes in nicely, and then the pleats, which fall out. Right. But the print is also really working its magic here and creating that sense of, you know, hourglass proportion. So it's really, a, you know, a great piece that works for a fuller figure on the bottom half. Very nice, and a little belt doesn't help, doesn't hurt as well. It really accentuates that waist, right? Yeah. Especially if you have maybe, you know, uh, more weight in the hips and thigh area, you want to accentuate the smallest part of your body, so you right. want to bring that belt in. Play up your good parts and play with black and white. Yeah, I mean, we're an up. example right Hello. now, right? A ton of black and white with a, just a little pop of color. A little pop of color. It's it all seems to be all over the place. Very nice. Thanks for the tips. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up. Stay with us.